Attention! Unsafe handling of borax may cause injury. Always ask an adult for help with science experiments and always wear protective gear. Hello friends, my name is Janet and here we are on Mother Goose Club Playhouse. <laughs> I am joined by my good friends and neighbors, Gianna and Ethan. Say hello to everybody. Hi. Hi. Now today, we're going to play Scientist. <laughs> yeah. All right, so whenever we play Scientist, I actually love for us to put on our lab coats. Now, we're also going to put on our safety goggles. So I have some safety goggles for you there. Every good scientist knows that you need to have your PPE, which is personal protective equipment. We wanna make sure if whatever we're making doesn't splash into our eyes. Now, another thing that we want to do before we make our slime. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That's I can't right. wait. We are going to make slime today, but again, every good scientist knows one must prepare if we're going to do the scientific method. So, preparation means that we need to start by putting something on our table. So, if you can just use this plastic tablecloth and yeah, let's get it all covered. So, water, check. Borax, check. Glue, check, measuring cups, and now our mixing bowl. All right, so, so here's one of the first things. Who would like to be the first person to measure out a half a cup of glue? Oh, you're great at measuring. Do you ever bake anything else? I've baked cookies before. I had snickerdoodles. Oh, I've so made cookies with my cousin. You have? And so you got to measure out the ingredients when you make cookies, right? Do not ever make a cookie with glue. I'm just saying. So now, here's what I'm going to have you do. Will you, with this spoon, kindly put the, the glue into our bowl? Yeah? The next thing we're going to do is we're going to stir in about a half a cup of water. All right, so let's uh, let's just put about a half a cup of water in there, just like that. Now I need you to add the water to the glue. All right. While you're doing that, let's think about adding some food coloring. Yay. Unfurl this, my dear, and add your food coloring there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh whoa. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, that's a nice green color. Look at this. While you're doing great on this, Gianna and I are going to complete another step. So I want you to add one cup of water into this bowl. All right. So again, we're making slime. We've got our glue and our water and our food coloring over here. We've got our one cup. Now I want you to add one teaspoon of borax. Just one teaspoon. You need me to pour that for you? Yes, please. All right. Now start stirring that for, oh, it's nice. Yeah, it's kind of getting a little milky. All right, so now, are we ready to really make some slime is what yes. I have to ask. So now, yes. here is the next step. Dun, 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 dun. We're going to slowly stir the glue mixture into this mixture. So can you move your bowl over here? Let's concentrate on the slowly part. So let's get the, that out of there as we can. Oh yeah, we don't wanna we don't wanna lose out on any of this slime. Would you look at yeah. there? Ooh, all right. So you know what? You know the best way to 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 test our slime? Oh. We reach in. We reach in. Come on, come on, scientist, you little mad scientist. Oh. You yes, go, go. Oh, this is awesome! <laughs> wow. Whoa! This is We're, awesome. Wow. You guys did good. Whoa. I can't believe, whoa, how did whoa. you do that, Ethan? Whoa, that's like an alien face in there. Uh, whoa. Whoa. All right, can I shake your hand? There's all kinds of things you can do with slime here. So, did everybody have fun being a scientist today? Yes. <laughs> so, um, I want you guys, what would you tell your friends out there about trying the slime? 
uh, they should definitely try, try it, it because it's awesome. Yeah. Yep. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning into Mother Goose Playhouse today. We've had a blast making slime. Go be awesome and be a great scientist. Have fun sliming! everybody. I am Janet and today we are in the Mother Goose Club Playhouse kitchen and I am joined by my friends Anna Grace. Hello. And my friend Lucas. Hi. Today we are making pizza. pizza. Yes. Yes. We made our dough and now it is time to roll out our crust. Now what we want to do is we want to put a little bit of flour on our rolling pin that way the dough won't stick to it so much. Let's get to rolling here. Here is a trivia question. Does anybody know who invented pizza? Gooey Lou. Gooey Louie, I love that name. I don't <laughs> think he has anything to do with pizza. Uh, do you have a guess? I have no idea. His name was Rafael Esposita, June 11th, 1889, and he was making a pizza for Queen Margarita of Savoy. And so on it, he put tomato sauce, basil, which is green, and mozzarella cheese. So you have red, green, and white, which were the colors of Italy. Uh, we will give uh, Rafael Esposito some credit today for making pizza. All right, so I think that I'm good, but it's like I... Oh, I almost did it! <laughs> you guys give it a try, that's kind of fun. It's kind of like action, like a Frisbee. Yeah. Wow, that's good stuff. Oh yeah, one last twirl. So we have made our pizza crust. They're all looking very, very delicious. Now, what do you suppose is the first thing we need to do? We need to put pizza sauce on. All right, so with that said, everybody grab a spoon and pizza sauce away. All right, so once you're fine with how much sauce you have on there, all right, you guys are good with that? All right. Now we're going to talk about the ingredients we can put on top of our pizza. Now, you mentioned that you like what on your pizza? Pepperoni and cheese. All right. So are you going to put your cheese on first or your pepperoni? Cheese. All right. So away you go. Now, what, are you, what would you like to put first on your pizza? You know, I think I'm going to do something really funky. I'm going to put my cheese on last. Ah, very, very creative cool. here. All right, so what would you like to go with first? Probably bacon. <laughs> All right, so she's going to put a bit of bacon. Now, I am going to go uh, the route of Chef Lucas over here, put a little cheese. Have you guys ever had avocado on a pizza? Is Not that what pizza. you make guacamole out of? It is what you make guacamole out of, but I love avocado, so I'm gonna put a little avocado here. So you're gonna go for a little pepper there, a little orange bell pepper. I think that's a good idea. Now, where are you gonna go from here? Um, sausage. All right. Oh my goodness, all of this smells so good. I just wanna like eat it. Ah, it won't be long now. And uh, so I've got my peppers, I've got my avocado. I might go with a little more cheese. I might, oh, you know what, I forgot. That looks really yummy. And then I'm gonna put some black olives on there just for good measure. There we go. All right, so now it is time to put the pizzas in the oven. Can you say, la pizza? La, la pizza. In the oven. In the oven. <laughs> you always wanna be careful with the oven and have some assistance with that. And now we will set our timer. All right, and we wait. Oh, goodness, this is Lucas's pizza. We're gonna put that right there. This is Anna Grace's pizza. And then this is my pizza. <laughs> Dude, so these not look amazing? And they smell fantastic, don't oh, they? Yes. Uh, are you proud of your creation? I think it's gonna be really good. All right. And you're excited to try it yours? so good. I say it's time to cut into these pizzas and let's have a bite. I think the word for the day is bon appetit. Everybody try a bite of your pizza. All right. <laughs> That's pretty good, guys. How about yours? <laughs> it's, oh, it's a little hot. So, you know, it's a little hot. All right. So, we have a few <laughs> final words for you. <gasps> bon appetit! <laughs> we'll see you next time, Mother Goose See Gustav. you next time. Bye, <laughs> Are you willing to try some avocado there for me? We'll try it. All right, come on, Lucas. Would you say that an avocado is a vegetable or a fruit? A uh, fruit? 
It is a fruit. It's actually a single seeded berry. Okay, so how about a little bite of onion? Wow, onion is very delicious. <gasps> oh, it's I hot. spicy. Oh, oh it's I hot to you. Oh. A little bit of an anchovy here. This is a fish cured in uh, salt and oil. Anybody brave enough to try this with me? Really salty, really fishy. Super fishy. <laughs> Kinda tastes like the aquarium smells. Who wants to go to the park? Yeah! Yes! <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, look at this mess. We're not going anywhere until we get this cleaned up. Okay, Papa. I'll be back. Okay, come on, Johnny, let's clean. Johnny? Johnny? Johnny, Johnny. Yes, sister? Playing cars? No, sister. Telling lies? No, sister. It's cleanup time. Ha, ha, ha. <gasps> Johnny, Johnny! Yes, sister? Doing puzzles? No, sister. Telling lies? No, sister. It's cleanup time! Ha, ha, ha! <laughs> to clean up his part of the mess, too. Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa? Being silly. No, Papa. Telling lies. No, Papa. It's cleanup time. Ha, ha, ha. Hey, I think I have an idea, and I think you're both gonna like it. Maybe we can dance and clean and we could do it all together. Then we could go to the park. Yes! Time for... The Park! Hi, Mother Goose Club. My name is Adam, and I am the host of the Playhouse Challenge. Today, Gianna, Darby, and I will be doing an experiment. We're going to mix different colors of paint together. And try to figure out which new color we'll make. Yes, we have red paint, yellow paint, white paint, blue paint, green paint, and black paint. Let's get mixing! All right, what color do you think we will make when we mix red and blue? I think it's going to make brown. Mm, I think it's going to make <gasps> purple. Let's mix them together and find out. It's purple. 
purple. You get a point, Darby. Yay! Good job. Next up, let's see what color we make when we mix green and blue. Definitely green. Mm, definitely blue. All righty, let's find out. Bluish green? Greenish blue? You both get a point this round. Yes! Good job. Our next mixture is black and white. What color do you think we will make when we mix these two colors? Uh, I think we'll make gray. Yeah, I think we'll make gray too. Well, let's find out. A little white, a little black. Oh, it's gray. You both get a point. Yay! Yay! So excited. Nicely done. All right, our next mixture is yellow and blue. What color do you think we will make when we mix yellow and blue? I think we'll make orange. I think we'll make green. Well, let's find out. It's green. Good job, Darby. Thank job. you. You Yay. get a point. Sorry, Gianna, no points for you. All right, for our next and last mixture, we'll see what color we make when we mix red and green. Hmm, I think we'll make brown. Mm, I think we'll make <gasps> pink. Well, let's find out. Some red, some green, It is brown. Yay! You get a point, Gianna. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Thank you. All right, let's see who guessed correctly the most times. Darby, you have four points. And Gianna, you have three points. That means Darby is our grand prize winner. Yay! And you receive a big box of colored crayons. <laughs> Good job, Darby. Thank you. Tune in next time for the next Mother Goose Club Playhouse Challenge. Bye-bye! Hi, Mother Goose Club. I'm Abby. I'm Ariana. I'm Darby. And today, we're gonna be making a lava lamp. All you really need is a two-liter bottle, some vegetable oil, a funnel to pour in the vegetable oil, as well as some water and food coloring, and an Alka-Seltzer tablet, or if you don't have that, you can just use salt. The first thing we're gonna do is add oil, water, and food coloring and we're gonna fill the bottle three-fourths of the way full with vegetable oil and then just top it off with water. I'm really excited to see how this turns out. Yeah. I love lava lamps. I think they're so cool. Three-quarters of the way. So it's oh, more than half. The best, the best. Okay, and then we're just gonna top it off with water. So we're gonna add about 10 drops of food coloring or until it appears fairly dark. I'm gonna do this green. So. I'm gonna do pink on both pink. Hmm. Ah, here's the yellow. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, that's <gasps> really cool, Darby. Whoa. Should I add a little bit more? Let's see, does it come out fast? I'm start with this and then see what happens. That's cool. I think I'm gonna add oh. um, a little bit of blue. We're gonna want an Alka-Seltzer tablet or salt. And if you're using a salt shaker, just sprinkle it in for about five seconds. Uh oh, <gasps> Whoa. look at this purple! Whoa. That is so cool. Oh my goodness, I love that. I hope I'm breaking it up enough. This is like a really dark purple, though, like a dark blue. Oh, but it looks yes. so look at this. cool. Oh my goodness, look at this. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, so I might have added these a are little really cool. too much blue. Yeah. This would be fun for a spin the night party. Yeah, yeah. that would be really fun for, for a good activity to do with friends. I really 
white too. It's so cool. It's I know. So I'm gonna put a few more dots of yellow. It's still really dark. Oh, well, yours looks really cool. That's cool. It's like a it, galaxy. It is. It is like. I still have some on the bottom. Some food coloring oh, on yeah, the bottom. Oh yeah, <gasps> Whoa. Okay, look at the pink. Oh, cool. Whoa. That is really cool. It's yeah, just I so like pretty. It. Whoa, that looks so cool. <laughs> do you think I should add more or do you think it's good? Um, it's a little dark. I don't know, it is dark. But under a flashlight, it might look different. <gasps> oh yeah! We are going to be adding glitter, and then we're gonna add another alka seltzer into it. Yeah, because we really liked it when it started to. Um, should I shake it up and then put the... Um, in? Yeah, I'm gonna do that so it's like. Oh, so it's I really can sticks to you. First. Oh. <laughs> I know, I hey, art is messy. <gasps> I like it. Oh, it looks good. It makes it really shine. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, now it's getting really dull. Whoa, okay. yours got so dark. Yours is like a galaxy lava lamp. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna add another. Uh, oh, alpha. <laughs> okay. Are okay. we gonna put the? Love it. Okay. I'm putting it in right now. Seltzer number two. Oh, there it goes. <gasps> there it goes. So cool. I'm gonna try it with the Oh, yeah. It's pretty. I love it. Oh, cool. I think ours are pretty much done. Yeah. And all we have to do is put a flashlight under it. Ooh, see what happens. It's fun. It's easy, yeah. too. Okay. I want to make more. I know. I love oh, this. We just, I love this. I think uh -huh. for. For the next time, if you just add a couple drops of Here, one color, I think it'll be good. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Cool. They look so awesome. Yeah, these are all great. I think it turned out pretty well. Yeah. yeah. So, that's how you make a lava lamp at home. You should totally try this. We had so much fun. Bye, Mother Goose Club. Bye. Bye. Let's take a nap. What? That's even more boring. Caleb, there's nothing to do. Well, there's always something to do if you use your imagination. Imagine what? Imagination, Johnny. That's right, Mary. You can do anything if you can imagine it. What? Ooh, can I try? I love to play pretend. Sure, Mary. Let's start with you. I've always dreamed of taking a nap on a big, fluffy cloud. Ooh, soft and fluffy. <laughs> Wait, we're going to take a nap? I thought this was supposed to be fun. What's more fun than a nap? Mary, what a great comfy cloud you've imagined. Johnny, how about you add to Mary's idea to make it even more fun? Johnny. Blanket Monster? What are you doing here? I know all about imagination and I have an idea. Okay. What is it? Shh. It's a secret. Okay. I know how we can make this cloud better. How about we add some relaxing noises? Great idea. <laughs> what kind of noises? Maybe some ocean waves. Wow, this is nice. And then, some really loud seagulls! Aha! Johnny! Stop it right now! Johnny, Johnny? <gasps> yes, Caleb? Causing trouble? No, Caleb. Telling lies? No, Caleb. No more seagulls. Ha ha ha? You ruined my cloud. Your cloud was boring. I made it better. Hey, let's try. Let's try one more time. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Mary, I think your cloud idea was great. What else can we do on your cloud? Ooh, I know. How about we dance? Johnny, come on, let's go.
Johnny, it's your turn. What else can we do in our cloud? Can we eat macaroni on our cloud? Of course. We can do anything you can imagine. OK, then. Let's have some yummy macaroni. Raining from the sky! <laughs> Johnny, Johnny? Yes, Caleb? Telling lies? No, Caleb. Causing trouble? No, Caleb. No more macaroni. Ha, ha, ha? <sighs> this isn't fun anymore. Mary, hang in there. Let's try it one more time, OK? Come on. <sighs> Mary, so the both of you like different things. Mary, you like to relax. And Johnny, you like to be silly. That's why we can't play together. Actually, that's why you have to use your imagination. How? Mary, what's the best time to take a nap? When you're tired? Exactly. And Johnny, what gets you all tired out? Playing, jumping around, running. <laughs> exactly. All those things. So first we can have fun Johnny's way, and then we'll have time to have fun Mary's way. Come on, guys. <laughs> what about some seagulls? Seagulls, please. Me too. Me too. Does that mean it's my turn? Yeah, Mary, go ahead. Ocean. Mmm, perfect. I guess I could use a little rest. <sighs> Me too. So I'm gonna let these guys sleep. Thanks for pretending with us. Bye. Hello, friends. My name is Janet, and you are joining us today on Mother Goose Club Playhouse. You have something for me to try today. So tell me about what you have in store for us. OK, so today we're going to do the Bean Boozled Challenge. We have a spinner, and each person will take turns spinning it. Mm -hmm. And then whatever the arrow lands on, each person will grab that color jelly bean. And if you cannot take it, then you know you can just spit it out in here. So Ethan, would you like to go first? Okay, land on something good. Coconut or baby wipes? <gasps> Coconut or baby wipes? On your mark, get okay. set, go. Oh, no. No, definitely a baby wipe. But it's baby wipe. <laughs> baby wipe. I'm gonna take it though. Cause it, hopefully we get oh, whoa, there's a big span. Uh oh. Oh, tutti fruity or stinky socks. Please, no stinky socks. One, two, two three. three. Tutti fruity. Woo! Ah, yes! No boozle in here. Uh -uh. Stinky socks. Sorry. For the first time, I actually got tutti fruity. Tutti fruity. All right, may the bean boozlers be with me here. Here we go. Caramel corn <gasps> or moldy cheese. Here we go, everybody. One, two, two three. three. Oh my, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll be back, I gotta brush my teeth. <laughs> Okay, of all the things I've ever eaten in the entirety of the known world, that <laughs> might have been the worst. Come on, pick a good one. Peach or barf? <gasps> uh, no! I, I thought it couldn't get worse after moldy cheese. Let, let's go really slowly on this. One, two, three. three. Oh! I can't tell. That's exact. Oh. <laughs> I, I gotta brush 
my teeth again. It's terrible. I'm gargle. <gasps> All right, so whose turn is it now? Okay, so here we go. Chocolate, please, oh please be chocolate. No, chocolate, no. chocolate, chocolate. Chocolate, hot dog food. One, One two, two, three. I'm glad I'm not a dog. <laughs> so stick around, tune in again, and who knows what we'll be doing on Mother Goose Club Playhouse the next time. See you next time! Bye. Bye! Hi everyone, and welcome to Outer Space! I'm here with my friends and fellow space explorers, Natalie and Victoria. Today, we're having a special space-themed playhouse challenge. What's all this spaghetti and marshmallows for? Great question! For today's challenge, we're going to see who can build the tallest rocket ship out of marshmallows, spaghetti, kite string, and masking tape. You're each going to be able to use a yard of kite string, a yard of masking tape, and spaghetti. 20 pieces of them. There's one rule. You're not allowed to skewer the marshmallow with the spaghetti. So, you have 10 minutes. Are you ready? Yeah! yeah. On your marks, get set, blast off! <laughs> Alright, well, time is up. Victoria, please, talk me through your creation. In order to make my creation acceptable, mm. I use the broomstick method, where you tie a bunch of spaghetti together. That way it fans out in a nice way, so that at the top of the broomstick, you have a nice little seating area for your marshmallow. Quite creative. And Natalie, please, what was going on through your head as you were building your creation? Uh, well, I was kind of worried that it was going to fall over and break. And the base did, but I wanted it to be sturdy so it could go into a pyramid so the astronaut could sit right there. And then I built an extension really high up. Very smart. Now, we all know the rules. The rocket ship that was the highest wins, but the two marshmallows had to be higher in order to truly win. So for this challenge, both of you won. Yay! Congratulations! <laughs> Well, that is all the time we have for today. We hope you enjoyed today's challenge. This is the Mother Goose Club Space Station crew signing off. See you next time. Welcome to Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. Today, I'm going to catch a cookie thief in action. Want to help? Come on. <gasps> Who took the cookie from the cookie jar? Who took the cookie from the cookie jar? Was it Connie? No, not me. Was it Ronnie? No, not me. Was it Johnny? Hee hee hee. Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa. Eating carrots? No, Papa. Eating spinach? No, Papa. Eating cookies? Ha ha ha. Johnny. candy from the candy jar who took the candy from the candy jar was it Connie no not me was it Ronnie no not me was it Johnny he <laughs> Johnny Johnny yes Papa eating apples no Papa eating cherries no Papa Eating candy, ha ha ha! Johnny, 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 Johnny. Eating healthy all day long makes you big and makes you strong. Candies may be fun to eat, but they're only some.
time streets. Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa? Eating ice cream. No, Papa. Eating cupcakes. No, Papa. Eating healthy. Yes, Papa. Eating healthy all day long makes you big and makes you strong. Candies may be fun to eat, but they're only sometimes treats. Johnny. Hello, friends. My name is Janet, and you are joining us today on Mother Goose Club Playhouse. You have something for me to try today, so tell me about what you have in store for us. Okay, so today we're going to do the Bean Boozled Challenge. We have a spinner, and each person will take turns spinning it, mm -hmm. and then whatever the arrow lands on, each person will grab that color jelly bean, and if you cannot take it, then, you know, you can just spit it out in here. No, it's my turn. Okay. Okay. Licorice or skunk spray? Come Good on! Good grief, kiddos! All right, okay. one, two, two. <laughs> three. three! Licorice, yay! Licorice, and for the first time in my life, I have... I'm not crazy about it, but my, did you get skunk? I can smell it. <laughs> How many more can there possibly be? <gasps> Berry blue or toothbrush. Mm. I don't really care which one it is. Berry blue. I got blueberry. I got toothpaste. I think toothpaste is good. Have I missed a turn? Feels like I missed a turn. <gasps> no! No, 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 no. no what, 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 what? Lime or lawn clippings? suppose that would be the green one. <laughs> yes. One, two, two three. <laughs> Definitely can taste the chlorophyll. Tastes like I just mowed the yard. Buttered popcorn or rotten egg. Are you kidding me? Okay. Three, we got seven. Two, one, we're one. counting backwards. Oh. <laughs> that is awful. That is, okay, hold on. I gotta splash water in my face with that. You haven't done juicy pear or booger. Yeah, so we haven't done booger. One, two, two three. three. Uh-uh. It's no stuck way. in my tooth, I can't get it out! Good grief! <laughs> so I think that if we were going to declare a champion of the bean boozling uh, thing here, that would be our big round of applause for the best boozler. All right, so stick around, tune in again, and who knows what we'll be doing on Mother Goose Club Playhouse the next time. See you next time! Bye! Bye. Hey Mother Goose Club, today we're going to do the Oreo challenge. So the rules are, you you eat an Oreo and you describe what you taste. And if you get it wrong, remember the bean boozle? This tastes so bad. We're going to eat one of the bean boozles. Let's get started, so let's put our blindfolds on. Here's cookie number one. Zion. A cinnamon roll. It tastes, like cinnamon. A, it, it tastes like a cinnamon bun a little. Yeah, cinnamon roll bun. That's what the cream tastes like. Yeah. Alright, so cookie number one was a cinnamon cookie. Yeah! That was number one. We got it right. Alright, let's Bobby, move on. Give me a pop. Hey. Alright, now cookie number two. Yeah, chocolate cream. Mm. That's very chocolatey. Chocolate cream. Chocolate cream it is! Yes! All right, let's move on to cookie number three. Oh man, you guys are gonna get all sugared up. It tastes like pumpkins. Mm. Yeah, pumpkin. A pumpkin cinnamon spice? Yeah, pumpkin cinnamon spice. 
pumpkin spice cream. All right. Yeah. Have you guys had enough? No. No. Of course not. All right. Cookie number four. Meh. 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 All day. Meh. All day. Mint. Mint cream Oreo all day. Yay! I'm throwing the egg. No, no, don't throw it at me. All right, cookie number five. How would it taste? Birthday cake? No, birthday cake. Birthday cake. Hold on, I can't describe the mint stuff is still in my mouth. Birthday cake. All right, that cookie was red velvet. What the, uh, what? Yeah, the red velvet Oreo. Ew, you get Okay. Ah, it tastes like baby wipes. I don't want it. Baby. It tastes like baby wipes. All right, cookie number six. You ready? Blindfold, put your blindfold on. Corn. We have three more cookies. Here we go. Here we go. Cookie number six. Cookie number six. Cookie number six. Cereal, cereal, food. Yeah, food. Cereal, food. Birthday cake. Birthday cake. And that cookie was lemon cream. What? Uh, I know it tastes something like lemon. I mean, this. Yeah, it kind of did taste like fruit loops. Where's my cookie? Oh, we haven't done yet. Whose hand is this? This is your father's hand. Oh, that's father. Gross. All right, you ready for cookie number seven? Ew. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't take my cookie. Regular chocolate cream? No, not chocolate cream. Regular cookie, but chocolate cookie. Yeah, regular cookie. Uh, yep, yeah, regular and regular chocolate cookie. And regular and chocolate cookie. Chocolate. All right, original Oreo. Good job. Yes. Wait, is it the chocolate one? Yes, the original chocolate. Baby. Are we done? One more cookie. Okay. All right, remember to get the blindfold on. Yes. Do some pop locking first. Mm -hmm. Pop lock. I want a pop black food. Alright, here you go. Last and final cookie. The ruckus. This is the ruckus. There's something in my hand. I, um, it's the original. It's the original cookie, but it's coated. No, this one's birthday cake. This one's so nice. Yeah, this one's birthday cake. Yeah, and the this. Kingston, what, what flavor is yeah, it? Birthday cake! Birthday cake, mm -hmm. birthday cake all day. Birthday, birthday cake! Yes! Happy birthday to you! <laughs> and that is the Oreo challenge. Did you guys enjoy that? Yeah. Hey, people! Hey! What are you doing? <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> We hope you guys had a fun time with us and enjoyed watching us. We'll see you again soon. From the ruckus, everybody say bye. Bye! This is what the birthday cake looked like. It has tiny sprinkles in it. Yeah, look at this. Oh! Bye-bye birthday. Hello, Mother Goose Club. I'm here with my friends, Darby and Ariana, and we're going to be doing a Pringles taste test. Okay, you guys are going to have to put some blindfolds on. Alright, okay. Okay, here's our first mystery Pringle. Whoa. <laughs> I've never had this one. Oh, it tastes good. I've never... Wow, I don't know this? what this would be. <laughs> I think it's... Dill? Is it like dill mm, or like is a it dill pickle? Yeah. Kind of tastes like. I'm gonna go with dill pickle. I don't know. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go with sweet relish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mystery Pringle number two. Um, 
I'm gonna go with barbecue sauce. Yeah, I think it's okay. barbecue. Yeah. Mystery Pringle number three. This one might be a little more tricky than the last one. Okay. I think it'll taste good though. Wait, what? what? <laughs> Tasting. I don't either. <laughs> it tastes like it doesn't have a flavor. It smells really good. Do you need to uh, try another one? Mustard? Okay. I think. Is that your guess? That's my guess. Okay. I think it's Mustard. original. Original? Okay. Okay, mystery pringle number four. Okay. Uh. Oh, wait. I know this, but I don't know what the word is. Like, oh, it smells like. It tastes like um, chili. Yes, it's chili. Yeah, chili, for sure, for sure. Do I have to finish this? Huh? I'm taking so long. No, you don't have to finish mm. it. You don't want to. <laughs> I like it. Mm -hmm. It tastes good. <laughs> okay, number five. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's ranch. Ranch? I would think this is the original. It just kind of tastes like potato mm, chips. Yeah. Are you changing mm. your Are you changing mm. your answer? Um, yeah, I think I think this one is original. Yeah. It's a salty. Number six. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> hmm. Wait. I'm really clueless. Hmm. Just make a wild guess. Lemon, lime. Uh, ranch. Lemon. Okay. Lemon lime ranch. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna go with ranch because I haven't guessed that one I yet. Still, and I, I still really taste don't chili. Know. Is your mouth burning? Because <laughs> <laughs> if you know, my <laughs> mouth is not burning. Your mouth should not burn from a a, a chili flavored potato chip though. <laughs> okay. This is know. number seven. Salt and vinegar. So good. Salt and vinegar? Yeah, I think this is salt and vinegar. I think it's cheddar. Cheddar? Yeah. Okay. I really still have like so much flavors in my mouth. I know. <laughs> no, I do. Yeah. Okay. okay. This one is mystery pinkle number eight. Salt and vinegar. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, this is mystery Pringle number nine. Sour cream and onion. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, it's so good. Our last mystery Pringle, number 10. <laughs> Any guesses? Uh, I mean, taco? I recognize <laughs> this flavor, but I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. I think it's taco, or taco? cheeseburger, or... Oh, cheeseburger, that's probably a good guess. I think it's... go with top taco. Taco? But I feel like I stole it from you. No, nah, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> okay, now it's time to tally our scores and see who won the Pringle Taste Test Challenge. Okay, can we take off our blindfolds? Sure. For our first mystery Pringle flavor, Ariana, you guessed dill pickle, and Darby, you guessed sweet relish. And the flavor for the first mystery Pringle, was cheeseburger. What? What? <laughs> that totally tasted, tasted like um, well, well, you have dill, dill pickles on <laughs> cheeseburgers. For our second mystery Pringle, you guys both guessed barbecue and you were right. For our third mystery Pringle, Ariana, you guessed mustard and you guessed original. And the answer was honey mustard. No, so you, you got you that. Got yes. You got it. That was smart. It wasn't even bad. I don't even like mustard. But it <laughs> tasted good. Mustard. And for our fourth mystery Pringle, you guys both guessed chili and you were right. And for the fifth mystery Pringle, you guys both guessed original and you guys were right again. And for our sixth mystery Pringle, you guessed ranch and you guessed lemon lime ranch. <laughs> and the answer was zesty salsa. Oh, that was the lime. So you yeah. were kind of you were closer. I was actually, like the lemon lime. Ranch. Ranch. Yeah, you were you were kind of close. <laughs> okay, and for our seventh mystery Pringle, you guessed cheddar and you mm -hmm. guessed salt and vinegar, and the answer was ranch. What? Oh, <laughs> this one's one of my favorites. 
favorites. I want to taste these again without being blindfolded and see if they taste different because <laughs> right. I know what it is. And for the eighth mystery Pringle, you guys both guessed salt and vinegar. And you were right. Okay, and for our ninth, you guys both guessed sour cream and onion. And you were right again. It was sour cream and onion. We didn't do too bad. No, you no, guys did we pretty good. Okay. You guys yeah. did pretty good. Yeah. Okay. And for our last one, you guys both guessed taco, but the answer was pizza. Pizza. What? <laughs> oh. I guess I could see that um, or taste that. Okay, and for our final scores, the winner is, drum roll please. Ariana! Yes! Good job, good job. It was job. really you close. Too. You had six and you had five. Okay, so it was it very was a close. close call. Yeah. yeah. Very close, good yeah. job. Good job, you too. Nailed it. Thank you for watching Mother Goose Club. Bye. Bye. Welcome to the Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. Today, we'll be performing the story of Johnny and his craft projects. I will be playing Papa. And I will be playing Johnny. Ha, ha, ha. Places, everyone. I'm supposed to use these beads to make bracelets for my friends. But I have a better idea. Ha, ha, ha. Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa? Making crafts? No, Papa. Making bracelets? No, Papa. Making messes. Ha, ha, ha. Ugh. I'm supposed to use this glitter to make sparkly cards for my friends. But I have a better idea. of my friends. But I have a better idea. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa? Making crafts? No, Papa. Making paintings? No, Papa. Making messes? Ha, ha, ha. <sighs> A little messiness when you're making stuff is fine, but I think we should clean up a little and focus on finishing our crafts for our friends. You're right, Papa. I promise I'll clean up my mess. But first, can we make rainbow cards using this beautiful new color I made? You bet. Bye, Bye Mother Goose, Goose Club. Club! Hi, and welcome to the Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. Today, we're putting on our very own Johnny Johnny Yes Mama prank. I'll be playing Johnny. And I'll be playing Mama. Are you ready? Let's go! Johnny, Johnny? Yes, Mama? Eating sugar? No, Mama. Telling lies? No, Mama. 
Open your mouth. Ha, ha, ha. No more sweets, Johnny. Okay, Mama. Now where was I? Johnny? Yes, Mama? Eating chocolate? No, Mama. Telling lies? No, Mama. Open your mouth. Ha, ha, ha. I said no more sweets, Johnny. <sighs> okay, Mama. Johnny won't stop sneaking sweets, so I think we need a prank to teach Johnny a lesson. Yes, Mama? Eating ice cream? No, Mama. Telling lies? No, Mama. Open your mouth. Ha, ha, ha. Say, John, do you notice anything unusual about that ice cream? Yeah, there's a spider on my ice cream. <laughs> you got pricked, Johnny. But don't worry, it's a fake spider. Oh, thank goodness. The next time I say no more sweets, are you gonna listen? Yes, Mama. You're not gonna sneak any more snacks? No, Mama. And you're not gonna lie? No, Mama. Good, because I may have hidden some more surprises in your sweets. Aw, but Mama! <laughs> <laughs> Mother Goose Club Playhouse.